Um, so moving on to the questions that I asked all of our guests this week, then Chelsea, um, what one marketing practice, if you could just pick one, one market practice that really gets you on your thought box that you wish business owners would just stop using. It's bad for them. It doesn't work. It's never work. Uh, any of the above you, you tell me. Okay. So I, it kind of, there's two, but it segues into one okay. and I'll give you the headline is not having like transparent communication for your marketing team. The biggest cause of this I usually see is having a siloed marketing team and not having a defined marketing budget. These are the two main culprits. And from being a solo in-house marketer that's had to work with sales and customer services and account managers and finance and everyone else, it's really, really hard when you're an island of one as a marketer. Marketing should be the driving force of your business. Therefore, it needs open data, needs access to your CRM and your customer services, um, whatever it is that you use on there. Nothing nowadays should be done through personal emails because when that account manager leaves your business, if you don't have a CRM or any way to track this data, everything that is in their head leaves with them when they walk out of the door for that last time. And it's really difficult for a marketer to be able to like control and plan this brings me on to the marketing budget, how they can then plan and effectively drive a business forward. If they don't have the data available and then they don't know what money they have to play with, how do you, how do you expect them to be able to tell you what the ROI is? Um, what's the ROI on my salary? I don't know. What resources do I have? Like, it's really, really difficult. So yeah, I would say if you're going to employ a marketing person in your business, don't set them up to fail. Give them all of the information, the data they need. And I think siloed teams come from leadership. If that's the way you set that business up, maybe it's a maybe it's a heritage one and they've always done it that way. You can't just employ a marketing person to come in and fix that problem. You need a complete culture change in how you approach marketing as a business because really marketing is just spreading information with the hope that you're going to sell more things to your desired target audience and for that you need people on the ground telling you what customers actually want you need someone with a vision that's going to be able to like see whatever industry it is that you work in what's actually going on what's coming up that could maybe like disrupt this um probably another election again in, the, in another couple of years we seem to have a lot of those at this at the moment and the, being able to like have access to all of the information that you need to make these decisions and effectively plan in a really difficult to plan in world. So yeah, that's my that gets me on my soapbox. Don't set your marketers up to fail because it's not nice. I can see that really triggered you. I thank, thank you very much for sharing that. I hope it hope it helps get off your chest as well. Cause it's good to share these oh, things that annoy us all. And then I guess that's the opposite question then. What's, what's one thing you wish small business owners or medium-sized business owners would embrace more often in marketing? 